Hi, welcome back to another video presentation brought to you by StemCellMalaysia.com uh, This video is about stem cell therapy Now first of all, stem cell therapy, what is it? Stem cell therapy or stem cell treatment is basically a form of cell therapy In other words, using stem cells uh, and put them into uh, the damaged organs or tissue of our body and the aim is to heal that damaged organ or tissue and to treat the disease injury or ailment now stem cell therapy is uh, essentially a form of transplant you know such as organ transplant unlike organ transplant which basically changes or transplants the entire organ stem cell therapy transplants only the stem cells Okay, now some common forms of stem cell therapy or cell therapy are bone marrow transplant and blood transfusion. Now to understand stem cell therapy, we really need to take a, a brief look at the history of cell therapy. Uh, in the 16th century, there is a physician by the name Paracelsus. He wrote, heart heals heart, lung heals lung, spleen heals spleen, and like cures like. This probably best defines, you know, uh, what cell therapy is all about and basically sets the foundation for um, the philosophy behind stem cell therapy. Now, even as early as the 16th century, doctors believed that the use of live tissues or live cells is the best way for disease treatment or to treat any illness. Unfortunately, this practice did not propagate or pass on to the present medical practice. Instead, modern medicine makes extensive use of chemicals to basically interfere the illness process or progress and to really suppress the symptoms. That's all medicine does. It doesn't cure, but it suppresses the symptoms. Okay, one major problem with chemicals in medicine is that they need to be metabolized by your body in order to take effect, if indeed they do work at all. When that happens, the body goes through further stress, meaning like metabolic stress, and that will deplete the enzyme pool of the body. Uh, I'm sure many of us have heard about that. Enzyme, uh, without enzyme, we die. Um, whatever that we input into the body, the enzyme goes to work. Whether it's food, whether it's medicine, anything that is foreign to the body, the enzymes will be uh, called to do its job. Now, it is worth noting that medicine does not cure an illness. There is no doubt about it. Um, it only stops certain processes caused by the bacteria, virus, or whatever that is inside the body. And hopefully, hopefully, your body is strong enough to heal itself. So medicine does not treat any illness. Okay? Even if you have a tumor, basically doctor cut it away, hoping that that tumor or cancer cell have not spread and even if it's spread and probably you'll be bombarded with chemo or radiotherapy and kill both the uh, cancer cells and also the healthy cells again hopefully the body is strong enough to recover over that damage okay now stem cell therapy and cell therapy Cell therapy is the only way to enable the body to renew itself and regenerate into a healthier state due to the renewed tissues or organs. Now, cell therapy is being carried out around the world every single day. Uh, that includes blood transfusion and transplantation of other blood components such as red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. I'm sure you heard about that. Now, historically, cell therapy takes the cells or tissue present in the young or fetus of certain animals and injects them into the body. 
Now, due to the advent of um, technology and scientific advancement in recent years, um, basically it's only about uh, in recent years to about a decade ago that stem cells can be preserved and freeze dry. In other words, with this advanced technology, uh, stem cells can be kept in specialized capsule and we can consume it um, for our body use whether it's for health, beauty, anti-aging or disease treatment. Now today you can find stem cells products which you can take uh, just like any other supplements in a capsule and the important factor or element of using such product for stem cell therapy is the potency of the stem cells. In other words, uh, the stem cell still alive and will they be effective? In other words, if you are consuming stem cells in the capsules, by the time they reach your body or the intestines, they're dead, then that stem cell is not going to do any good for the body. In other words, you're basically consuming dead cells. Now, out of such stem cell therapy comes live cell therapy. In other words, the stem cells that you consume or injected into the body must be live for the stem cells to do good to the body, whether it's um, reversing an aging process or um, healing a certain organ or tissues and, and eventually, ultimately, uh, enabling the body to heal from a particular illness now this we will address this life cell therapy we will address in another article uh, which is uh, very interesting and and very enlightening and especially for people who are looking at stem cells therapy whether it's for you know health and beauty or disease treatment now, thank you for watching this video and for the rest of the article uh, uh, posted on our site at Stem Cell Malaysia, you can find the benefits and mechanisms of stem cell therapy. And we thank you for watching this video. We hope you visit our website and, and read the rest of the article. Thank you. Bye-bye.